Sweep number 31 is a lot like sweep number 30. Again, we're adding collections of three or four numbers, but instead of looking to make a 10, we're looking for simple multiples. So here are some examples. Now, having said what I just said, you can probably see a couple where you could find 10 as well. And to be honest, it wouldn't matter if a student used that approach. However, there is a common strategy that they can use for all the examples in the worksheets. Four plus eight plus eight plus four, We've got two eights and the two fours will make another eight. So if we're going to need some written notation, if students need that, we'll cross out the two fours and write plus eight. Now we have three eights, which of course is a multiplication fact. Three eights are 24. Five plus one plus five plus five. This one does lend itself to what is five plus five. That's a 10. We can then add five and one make six. But it also allows us to say there are three fives, which is 15, plus one more, and that is 16. And then for the last example, nine plus four plus five plus nine. This is a good example of one that would be difficult to do if we simply started at the beginning. Nine plus four, a little bit tricky. 13 plus five, that's tricky also. That's 18 plus another nine. That's a third tricky example. We could do it a lot more simply by saying four plus five is nine, nine and nine and nine is three nines or 27. Again, we're helping students to think for themselves, to make decisions about how to tackle a problem, how to answer a question in maths. And so I commend this one to you. Uh, we've got lots of examples in the Think Bubble Maths resource as well. That's it for this video. See you in the very last one coming up.